Hey y'all. Do you think that I could ever start a video without saying hey all or hi? I'm not so sure. How about you? <laughs> so welcome again to our blending mode class lessons. I uh, if you and I have to keep saying this at the beginning of every one just in case somebody drops by YouTube or drops by the website and starts with this lesson. I want to encourage you to go back to the guide at hummiesworld.com for the blending class and start at the beginning because we are going through them from top to bottom and we are actually all the way down at the saturation and a lot of these um, build on each other and so you really want to do them in order and if you're doing them in order all right love that you've been with us all this way all the way down to the saturation blending mode we are in the components section and um, when we did the hue lesson we learned what a component is and so I'm not going to go over that again in the saturation go back and watch the other one uh, the saturation blending mode preserves the brightness and the hue of the bottom layer while adopting the saturation of the top layer. And so your three components are there. Brightness and hue now. You remember in, with the hue, the, the hue was uh, what was focused on on the top layer. With this one, the saturation is what is adopted with the top layer and the brightness and hue are left the same from the bottom layer. So let's look at our graphic. And we're going to, just as always, apply the blending mode for this lesson. And it looks just like the hue one. Why? You say, why? Ha! Ah, why? Well, um, the... let's go back the saturation let's let's look here I'm trying to figure out how to explain this I'm choosing a lovely green the saturation is from left to right you've got your neon really bright ones over here and your saturated um, uh, grays over here but um, you're going to see if you look at it that the white is here all the way saturated to the left and the black is right here all the way saturated to the left and the 50 percent gray is about here all the way saturated to the left all three of them have the same saturation uh, actually you know they're they have they're desaturated they have no color and so um, just as with the hue, they have no hue either. They don't have any of these on this rainbow over here. Um, so therefore, it's going to work the same as the hue for our sample here. But it's not going to work the same um, for your image. So let's go pop on over to my sample and we're going to play around a little bit and we're going to uh, deconstruct it and reconstruct it and I'm going to go all the way back down to this is my original image now I'm not giving it as the original image on the website but this is a photo that this is obviously my hand here with the ring and I took in at the water park um, I was with uh, my little big brother, big sisters, and we were playing with the camera, I think, trying to splash the ball in and take a photo. And uh, that was one of the images I got, and it's got a really yummy splash going all the way up here. But I decided I didn't need all that background stuff, so I reconstructed it using mostly the clone and the healing brush tool and uh, made this. So this is actually my original image <laughs> but it's not but it is and 
let's uh, go back and look here is the texture we're giving you now you'll remember uh, I, I tried to find something uh, when I was doing this something that was really saturated with a lot of color so let's get our eyedropper tool and pick this blue color and you're gonna see it's kinda neutral I actually didn't get something that was really too saturated over here and unfortunately it is kind of neutral to uh, the um, kind of saturation as my photo so it didn't really change it too much except for where the white is you see the white has got no saturation so um, wherever the white is or even this uh, and this is actually my husband dribbled glue everywhere and let it dry. He made this texture. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and then I kind of redid it in, in uh, Photoshop. But, you know, these more gray areas where the glue is are also actually a lighter in saturation than my general image. So wherever all those light things are, that's going to uh, be changed in my particular image because... Uh, the rest of this image here see very similar saturation I think the other image was over here so it's going to take the color and the brightness from the bottom it's going to stay the same it's just going to change the saturation from the top so when I isn't this yummy Ugh. when I apply the saturation and we zoom in you're going to see the white spots have all changed to these kind of uh, grayish and so that's kind of what happened for my image but um, and, it, and it helps before after it makes it kind of grungy um, makes it uh, even kind of more like you're looking through a screen or or more bubbly or something like that and uh, I want to show you one more thing I'm going to duplicate this layer just so I have something to play with and I'm going to hit control U and I am going to somebody tweeted me um, I am going to desaturate this all the way down so it has a no color so my original image now has no color probably should have cloned out that tree <laughs> doesn't matter so, so it has no color so now when we apply the blue with the saturation why is this not working it was working earlier today I think I took it too far down. Let's go backwards. There we go. Now, this one's applied, and let's do Control U. And I'm going to take the saturation down on the bottom image, uh, but I'm not going to take it all the way to where there's no color. There we go. That's what it is. <laughs> See, we all learned by my mistakes. So I desaturated this, but I didn't take out all the color because it is, um, if you remember from this, it, here it is using the hue and the brightness from the bottom layer. So this still has hue in it because I didn't take it all the way down. And then uh, when you add this one, it does make a big change. So um, that kind of shows you a little bit about how the saturation works if so if you go out there and you find an image on your computer that is um, desaturated not a whole lot of uh, brightness kind of leaning toward more muted colors and then you add this paper to the top of it it's going to really make it go kind of pow and so I went back to my original this is my original and I added my text 
and um, it needed to be above <coughs> my art paper and so um, because if it went below it took away some of the saturation and it took away some of the <coughs> neon kind of happiness out of it and I needed something to kind of bring it all together and so I just simply uh, duplicated this layer just as we've been doing in past lessons because everything kind of needs to be grounded uh, made that selection hit to subtract it and then returned it to normal so that uh, we had a border around it and actually I think I decided I didn't like that and I hit control U and I lightened it because that just made me feel happier so here's the the uh, one that I actually did see this it needs to it got too light this one we just made because it distracts from the photo but this one's pretty good kind of grounds it <coughs> so that is all I did to ooze your happiness and hopefully you're oozing your happiness playing with all these lessons I look forward to seeing what you do with this texture and the saturation blending mode